Hi guys, today at Nana's Corner we're going to try and fix a jacket. My daughter made this lovely jacket, it's awesome, for my granddaughter. She did the vinyl, she put the cheer on the sleeves and in the front. She put a little cheer bow. It's a great jacket, the only thing is she didn't realize that the hood is going to cover the whole design when she wears it. So what we're going to try and do is cut this hood off and make kind of just a regular collar on it. So we're going to try and do that today and fix this jacket up for my granddaughter. So let's get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've laid out the jacket on a cuttable mat right here that has your measurements on it and I've lined the edges of the corner the little points of the collar up on a line from this instance nine and I've pinned them down to keep it straight and flat then I went and took my ruler and lined it up right where the collar starts to curve up and that's our baseline where we're going to do our measurements from. Then I took a piece of chalk and just went right straight across there along the ruler. And from there, we're going to measure up a half inch and then another half inch. And the reason for that is we're going to make a hem. And so we want a nice even hem to go across. So we'll mark... We'll put line up the one and we'll make our half inch and then another half inch marks and we'll go the same way across. And then what we'll do is we'll just connect those lines. You want to make sure your fabric is straight to begin with or else you'll have a crooked cut. Okay, let me do those lines and I'll come back. Okay, so I've got the lines drawn. There's three lines. You're not going to cut, remember, on all of them. This is your baseline right across the collar. Then that's your fold line. And the last line that you make here is your cut line. So you can either cut it with scissors, if you're good at pretty much halfway decent straight line, or you can take one of these uh, what are they called? The rotary cutters, which cut very well, but make sure you have a mat under it. You don't want to cut your counter or your table. And you're going to line that up right where you want it. Press down and then just go right across that ruler. Make sure it's cut. Before you move the ruler, always make sure it's cut. And there you go. Simple as that. Okay, let me show you a little trick. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this over in half inches where we marked so we have a nice neat hem. But sometimes it's difficult, especially if you have stretchy fabric and it doesn't want to stay. Get your a piece of cardstock, cereal box, any kind of cardboard, not just so it's a little bit stiff, not just a piece of paper, and cut it at a half inch or whatever you're trying to hem at. Mark it a half inch so you can keep it. And what you're going to do is you're going to line it up right along the edge so you know exactly where the half inch mark is. You're going to do that and then what you'll do is you'll press it with your iron and keep moving it down so you have a perfect half inch. Then once you have that pressed, you'll do the same thing for the second fold. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how it comes out. Okay, so what I've done is I pressed it. Um, because this material is kind of stretchy, sometimes you find that it doesn't want to stay flat, so you can also, as you go, pin it. And what I did was I pinned it from the other side, 
so that when I fold it again, it's easy to get the pins out. So what you would do now, once you have that one side, you can either go ahead and sew right on the edge, or you can just keep it like that pinned, and then you will flip it over again using your little guide. And you can take this pin out and replace it right there to hold it. Did you see that? Let me show you one more time. We're going to put the guide in. So it lines up with it. Take this other pin out and you will just right on the edge of that guide, slide that pin in and there you have your hip. And you can just pull, unless you catch the cardboard, <laughs> you just pull it right back out. Okay, so let me finish that up and then I'll come back to you when I'm ready to sew it. Okay, I'm back, so I have it pinned up. A double hem here it's under the, the the foot threads are in the back and what we're gonna do is it's lined up let me bring you in a little closer so you can see it's lined up where I'm going to sew right along the edge where the pins are so as we sew we're gonna take the pins out so I'm gonna go slow You want to remember to reverse to lock your stitches in and then go forward and just go slow and straight when you come to a pin stop pull it out and just keep going Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish sewing this and then I'll come back to show you what we do next. Okay, so we have it sewn. Can you see all the way across? And now we're going to line it up again on the top part. We're going to go right across the edge just to keep it um, from wrinkling and, and getting all kinds of ugly. It'll hold it together nice. Line it up. Make sure you lock your stitches by going in reverse. And then just sew straight along. Guide it with your fingers. Sometimes where your seams are that were already in the hood, you have to help it work through. Or you'll break your thread like that. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. The hood is off, the collar's hemmed, simple fix. So now you'll be able to see what she has on the back. Simple. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you did, leave me a comment and let me know what you learned. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and come back so that we can do some more DIYs together. And if you're interested in the jacket, maybe for your daughter or your granddaughter, if you'd like one made, I'll leave the link to my daughter's Facebook page in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.